Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. Hello, everyone. No, there's no Josh tonight. It's uh, it's just me. You just got me. That's it. Hope you're all well. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends. Uh, and happy shopping at Walmart at 4 in the morning on Friday to get your TVs. Although, <laughs> I will say that uh, um, there's a fair bit of that here now, too. We've got... Black Friday now. We've adopted your holiday. <laughs> uh, check in, let us know where you're watching from, uh, and um, tell me why you're thankful Josh isn't here tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, it should be um, it should be a pretty boring evening because I realized I haven't really got much for um, uh, mail call, and uh, I've <laughs> everything I've done I saved for tomorrow's episode of What's on the Bench. So uh, Josh kind of let me know later into the afternoon that I was going to be on my own tonight. Um, so I guess we'll just do sort of a Q&A, show and tell, whatever you want. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Walmart doesn't have VRD carbons. <laughs> Good point, Christopher. Uh, they don't. They don't at all. Uh, Logan's here. Hi, uh, Logan. How are you? West Desert Wheeler. Howdy, Matt. Top button looking tight, homie. <laughs> I could bust right out of it. I've been working on my neck muscles because I've been doing so much carting. You know, i got to have a big, strong neck. Have you noticed that... Uh, you probably haven't because nobody watches Formula One. Uh, but Formula One guys have big necks. Really strong, muscular necks. Uh, New Zealand. Oh, well, welcome to the show, NZ Biker John. That's New Zealand Biker John, I take it. That's excellent. Um, that's, uh, anyone have a cross RC WT4 rollback? No, I saw that on the news, though. That looked pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Buy some of Logan's tickets. Oh, that's a good idea. I would definitely do that. RC Underdog, thanks very much. Wait, I thought you were Josh? You surprised how many people say that my name is Josh, even though it isn't. Uh, CJV, thanks uh, for the happy Thanksgiving. Uh, great Comparo video on the Ascent SCX10 Pro and VRD Carbon. Thanks. Uh, that <laughs> that um, that video got, garnered a lot of interesting responses. People were uh, either uh, very critical of my driving, or that it wasn't a scientific test, and I made it clear that it wasn't scientific. <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, I had a fun time running it. Uh, Kaladin Crawler was amazing to work with. He uh, piloted the Ascent for the most part. Uh, and uh, we had just a real blast. It was one of the last nice days we had, probably, um, that we'll have in some time. Get Logan on the show tonight. Uh, maybe? I don't know that I'm going to be on super long. Um, Matt is Josh only better. Uh, my family still mixes you two up. That's that's great. That's really good to know. <laughs> I'm glad that, uh, Joe, that I and Josh are two so similar people. <laughs> uh, they actually lift weights with their necks. Yes, that's true. They do. Um, I'm going to start doing that too. That's from all the coke, Matt. The neck thing. <laughs> Matt, I pulled a gainer off an elephant rock with my TRX-10. Oh, nice. Uh, somebody asked what the largest scale truck is. Uh, I have the SCX-6. Six scale. Well, technically, if we're getting into the scale, largest scale, the Promoto is the largest scale. Though I don't have that currently. I lent it to... Um, what's his face? K-pop RC. So he could do a little work uh, with it. Um... West Desert Wheeler. Ken, hey, Kaladin Crawlers is here. Hi, Kenny. How are you? Uh, can you explain the obstacle names? <laughs> when, when we were out there, I was like, well, I got to give every obstacle a name. I was like, I can't just go, well, here, there's this obstacle next. I was like, I have to come up with some kind of name. And I was like, but what I'm going to do is whatever I come up with, I'm going to name it variants of that same thing for comedy. It has nothing to do with the location. It has nothing to do with the course. It has nothing to do with the obstacles. 
It was all just like, let's just call them devil's things. And it kind of stuck. I got a real crack up about that one. Uh, Jetwave78, thank you very much. Oh, all the way from the Isle of the UK. Uh, just got the Proline I-Beam kit. What do you think? Uh, I just ordered one, actually. I was waiting for them to actually be in stock rather than uh, pre-order, so I could just use PayPal on Horizon, uh, and I made that purchase uh, today. So I'll probably get that, um, hopefully, by the end of the week, uh, all, all things considered. Uh, and then I will put it into a build, and I'll let you know what I think about it. Um... When you did the trail run with the Ford Ice, what battery were you using and how many did it take? Uh, Daniel, if you watch that video, um, I changed batteries, I think, twice. And I used... What did I use? I used these guys. Uh, the Genzace uh, 6000 milliamp hour 100C 3S packs. Uh, and all it really took was two of these. 20k so that's that's a good that's a good kind of uh you know how much it needs uh that's how much it needs 12,000 milliamp hours for 20 kilometers uh mkrc builds thank you very much i can be your co-host for the night <laughs> i appreciate the offer uh we need to vet people before we just let them on the internet willy-nilly <laughs> um they have steering wheel workout machines too. Yes, they do. Pilot Ryan Media, hello. Uh, this is great. It's really nice to see you all. Hello. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Uh, it is Thanksgiving, so please give thanks by going to your local hobby shop and buying something. That's uh, how I would like to give thanks this year, and I probably will. I should make a trip down to a couple of my local shops and pick up some stuff. Um... If the TRX-4 has a trailer hitch receiver, why does the Traxxas Raptor R have one as well? Uh, hmm, good question. I don't know. Scale? Probably just scale accuracy. Where's Gunner? I've run out of jerky. Oh, speaking of, I'm having some right now. I'm having some of his delicious beef snack sticks. Teriyaki flavor. These are my favorite. Uh, Reamdog Fly Factory, thank you very much, and congrats on your first uh, super chat. Thanks for the P1S advice. Good choice. Uh, P1S is the Bamboo Labs mid-range printer. Uh, it does everything the X1 does, except it has a slightly lower quality camera. Uh, and what else? You can't print something else. No, I think that's it, actually. Um, maybe the web interface is different. I can't remember exactly what the differences are. But P1S is excellent value, so good choice on that printer. This one is the Devil's Underpants. No, it was Devil's Visible Panty Line, Phoenix. I'm disappointed you didn't hit tip of the devil's tongue. There were a lot of other options for sure. Oh man, I'm way behind. God dang it. Sorry, guys. Uh, K-pop was doing his scale drift project. Yes, uh, I believe that's it. Um, no fluffy bunny way. <laughs> Thomas Bialzik. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you very much. I am bummed that Josh isn't here tonight. I had a Hall and Oates joke due to some recent developments. Yes, I heard about those developments. Good news is I survived my infection, congratulations, and the virus is gone, congratulations. Just like my respect for Josh for flip-flopping on 24 scale. Oh, just like my respect for, exactly. I have no, I had very little respect left for Josh. <laughs> so he's on his own with the 24, like I, okay. Just to continue this conversation for, for full disclosure, he started building it. He shared all of his ideas with me. He showed it to me. And I was like, that looks pretty good. I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun for you. Uh, and he goes, you definitely have to build one. I'll give you all my extra parts or I'll, I'll show you how it's done or blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Uh, and then uh, we were watching the race. So it was like super late at night. I was delirious. And I said something like, if, if, if so, so-and-so finishes in this place or higher, I'll build one. And if Max Verstappen doesn't win, you have to pay for it. Anyway, then I watched his video and then I lost all interest in doing one. I was like, nah, I don't know. Nah. I'd much rather just have a bigger truck. <laughs> uh, J.R. Lawson, thank you very much, sir. Um, and Thomas, I'm glad you're feeling better. 
I hope that uh, there will be some progress uh, p photos on the uh, Suga bodies soon. I would love to see where those are at. Um, very keen to uh, start getting those done. Maybe in the maybe fresh in the new year. Uh, but uh, yeah, glad you're feeling better. Jared Lawson, thank you very much, sir. Uh, hey, Matt, thanks for doing the weekly Josh show tonight. <laughs> Just joshing you. Let's go, SBG. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I think Josh probably thinks it's the Josh show, too, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, speaking of K-pop, would love to see more collabs with him. You guys work well together, kind of like that guy from Vanquish. What's his name? <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> uh, yeah, Jay. Uh, K-pop and I have talked about that. I know that he and his buddy Nash just picked up some SCX6s, and they're planning some fun stuff with those. And I'll probably, hopefully, uh, get to join in the fun because I have an SCX 6 too. Uh, best hockey team is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay. <laughs> the things I say on this channel. Uh, Crawler Baller, wow, hello, thank you very much. I haven't heard from you in some time. Happy Festivus for the rest of us. Do you not celebrate Thanksgiving? I mean, I don't. Uh, not, th well, I don't, <laughs> I don't celebrate American Thanksgiving. I celebrate the Canadian one, which is all about uh, the harvest and, uh, you know, uh, sharing in the bounty of that, uh, which I guess is sort of what you guys do too, isn't it? I mean, for me, it seems to me like your American Thanksgiving is bigger than Christmas, almost, in some ways. Like, everybody goes home, everybody sees everybody, it's a bigger deal than it is Christmas time. Explain. <laughs> super chats galore coming through. Yes. Wow. Big night for super chats. My goodness gracious. Uh, did you use an adapter for the EC5 to XT60? Um, when I did the four dice? Yeah, I did. Definitely. Yeah. I hope we see some more K-pop RC with Matt's Drift Missile. I am working on one. If uh, you are going to stick around tomorrow, watch what's on the bench, you'll see an update on that Drift Missile. I did get a new Drift chassis for this new Drift project. I picked up a Rev D RDX. Uh, there's a pretty fancy Drift guy on Instagram by uh, the name of Vitrios, I think his name is, or Vitrios. Um, anyway... I was chatting with him. He's pretty big time. He's got a lot of followers. Uh, but he took the time to chat with me and recommended that chassis. And I said, okay, I'll buy that. Thank you. Uh, Musha, I was vetted. <laughs> you, you may have been uh, at some point. Maybe not. Who knows? It all started with the devil's butt crack. That's right, Callan and Crawlers. Uh, Kenny and I were like, oh, I was like, oh, yeah, this, uh, this here is the uh, devil's butt crack. <laughs> give thanks and praise wheel uh mkrc builds thank you very much i'm vetted just ask me i'll tell you so <laughs> oh oh man i'm so sorry the the chat runs real quick when there's only one of us doing the show um i had a corvette once when i sold it i was vetted no when you have it you're vetted when you don't have it then you've been unvetted <laughs> No LiDAR on the P1S. That's it. Thank you very much, Scale RC Designs. I knew that I could I could remember it if somebody told me. Um, I'm munching on some... Oh, that's hot. Got my not an RC four-wheel drive pen, too. Oh, he's, Gunner's giving them away with every purchase? That's great. I love it. No hardened nozzle? I don't think there's a... Uh, oh, brass nozzle. Okay, okay. Just need to upgrade the hot end to do the abrasive materials. Got it. Read faster, Matt. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, new bumper stickers with the trail names. Oh, that's a good one. We can do... Actually, that's a great idea. I'm writing that one down because that's a good idea. I'll use my not an RC four-wheel drive pen as well. Bumper... But it's not... There won't be bumper stickers. They'll be like badges of honor. Like the Jeep badges of honor. Badges of honor for devil's butt crack <laughs> i'll do them all <laughs> that'll be a whole new sheet that's great i love that idea thanks joe um uh checking in while wearing a christmas sweater wrong time of year josh go back to sleep 
there was a stairway to heaven, but nothing ended up. In an upcoming video, Kenny, I may have just done that. Uh, that was the was stairway to the devil's cottage. And let's vote to ban Josh in the chat. <laughs> uh, that would be great. That'd be really good. Hey, Jeremiah Salberg, thank you very much. Hello, Matt. I just got new tires and giving anti-foams a try. The tires I got were Intico Super Swampers XL. I also have been sticking to owning one rig. Good for you. That is something I wish I could have done a long time ago. It would certainly cut back on the trucks on the floor. <laughs> uh, Super Swampers, uh, interesting tire choice. Um, uh, they probably will work quite well with the anti-foams, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how how you Have you noticed all the good stuff is released to Vanquish when Josh is not there? Yes, Brian, I have. And that's because if Josh were there, he would strategically wait until things in his mind should be released. But when he's not there, they just put things out. Uh, I think I think small scale would be popular up in there in Canada. It might be American, the American you hate, because um, y'all are stuck indoors like nine months per year. It's not nine. <laughs> like we don't get real winter until December, late December, it's January, Feb December, January, February, part of March, four months, so eight months of the year we were outside. Uh, will a 118 scale crawlers ever take off like 124? Possibly. I mean, <coughs> I think there's sort of a nice little in-betweener. Um, did you get a snowmobile going again? No, not yet. We don't have any snow. Uh, but yes, don't let my unenjoyment of 24 scale comp crawling affect your opinion on 24 scales. I still have a bunch of them. I still really like just driving them, but the comp element to it uh, it's like I'd my hands are too big. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather just work on larger cars. And I feel like I can do more with things that are bigger. <laughs> oh god. Don't even need <laughs> don't even need Josh for this show. As as evidenced by the numbers. Uh Christmas is bigger than Thanksgiving in my opinion. About the same as Christmas. Okay, all right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Holy, am I that far behind still? Jeez, I am. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Uh are you sure you still have the CX six? You know what luck you have with electric Jeeps. <laughs> That's a good one, Nick. Um <laughs> I just have the honcho now. I sold the Jeep to Dana, who's in the chat. Half Hawaiian, thank you very much. Congrats and thank you for your first super chat. Um, beep, bop, boop. Still waiting on a VS410 drift mayhem challenge. I don't think we'll get Josh to do anything drift. He doesn't like it at all. It's so weird. Um, Troy Givler, thank you very much. I too just got a Rev D RDX and it is very nice. You will love it. Troy, how are the instructions? Because that was the one thing on the uh yokomo that i did not love the instructions were difficult and they were all in japanese uh four days off at thanksgiving it's easier to travel and see the family than it is at christmas okay all right that is an excellent explanation thank you no more reading comments till we hit 300 likes <laughs> oh man i think we're way behind on that one phoenix uh, waiting on Elegoo to send me a new hot end. Ah, yes, printers. Uh, well, I appreciate someone wanting me to join, but I'm actively driving a John Deere. Not ideal for streaming. That's fine, Logan. Uh, let me know where I can buy some tickets to win your stupid truck. And, uh, you know, message me on Instagram and I'll, I'll buy a ticket. Uh, hey, there's Gunner. Hello, Gunner. Uh, thank you very much. My meat belongs in your mouth. Hello, everybody. Let's celebrate No Josh with 15% off. Hashtag No Harley All Discount. <laughs> That's an excellent uh, early Black Friday discount, too. Thank you very much, Gunner. Uh, I may have to take advantage of that. Somebody was asking me what I'm drinking. Good old Coors Original. Or as I like to call it, Coors Banquet. 
the banquet beer. Why did they change the name? Cheers. Um, bop, bop, bop. Must have the badges. Nice. That's a good idea. I like it. Um, the devil wears flannel. <laughs> That's a good one, too. I like that. <laughs> uh, oh, Gunner, thank you again. Edit. No Harley. All the discount. Okay, I got to unpin that one. And then pin this one. This is what happens when you're behind in the chat. Thank you, Dana. Damn it, Gunner. <laughs> ah, it's so good. Uh, 128 drift cars. Those are pretty fun. I can see that. Because those don't require any obstacle effort. Uh, Ryan, how is your back any better? Much better, thank you. Uh, I've been to the Cairo uh, twice got a massage, been doing a bunch of stretches, and I am mobile, which is good. Um, it uh, it was bad for a little while, but it's much better now. So much better, in fact, that I should probably consider getting out uh, my new Traxxas slash 2S. Um, this is the, the sort of the more beginner level slash but it uh is still a lot of fun now all the 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 first or the 2s models are all brushless 2s models and uh, now they the clipless come hither body as well so um they sent this back to me just before i hurt my back <laughs> so i'm gonna take it out i i haven't decided yet if i'm going to make it into a project i think i might do a one-day project on this and it'll all make sense in a little while I can't spoil it, but I'm going to do something a little bit out of the box with this. I haven't seen it done much, probably because it won't work, but I think it's worth giving it a shot and having some fun with it. So that's what's on the mail call for today. Yes. All right. Got that in. I've been trying to show that off for some time now. I'm glad I did. Uh, all right. Ah, I'm now I'm way behind again. Damn it all. Luke Olson, thank you very much. I conquered the devil's butt crack. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys got a kick out of it. Some people thought it was not funny, but they missed the joke, I think. Um, 479 in the chat. Those like numbers had better match. I agree. Um, the instructions are great. All right. Hooray. That's excellent. Uh, I think 124 scale driving just presents different challenges than 110th, kind of how you and Josh say 16 presents a new experience. That's totally fair. I get it 100%. I just don't, I don't feel like putting in the same kind of effort I put into something larger. Like, if I'm going to build a comp truck, I want to build a comp truck that I can go outside and, you know, see how it works and... I don't know. I, I just, I don't get the same joy out of 24 scale that I do 9th or 10th scale. Alex DeChico, what's a good printer to start with? Uh, I would start with the Bamboo Labs P1S. That would be my choice to start with. Um, I have the X1 Carbon, which is their top of the line model, and it is so fantastic in every way. The P1S is the same mechanicals as the X1, so... Uh, you should have a very similar experience. Uh, I love that snowmobile you built. I will get it out again in proper snow, for sure. I just switched from top messages to all messages. Hi, if I missed your greetings. <laughs> you did, Thomas, but hello. Uh, much better than Yokomo, but not as good as Vanquish. Ah, Vanquish does do excellent instruction manuals. Let's see some tracks on crawlers in the snow. Okay. <laughs> That's no problem. I I have many things with tracks. Many, many things. Oh, God. I am so sorry, guys. Uh, congrats on ordering. It's Coors Heavy? Is that what they call it? Coor oh, because... <laughs> yes. I love it. That's good. Uh, <laughs> Coors Heavy. That's, what they, that's a really good name. I like that a lot. That's very funny. Uh, plowing snow with my STX24 today. Well, that's cool. Um, 
we get snowboards from Canada for four to six months in the winter. Yeah, totally. Uh, when you're old, you, you want to be out of this the cold as much as possible, I think. El Camino Life Forever. Thank you very much. I bought one of the WT4 Crafts RC rollbacks after Josh's so on Tuesday. I didn't need it, but had to have it at that price. Is it a good price? How much is it? I'm kind of curious now. I want to know. Uh, yeah, five, 500 people in here is hard to keep up with. You're absolutely right. Coors Light is regular Coors in most people's minds. Oh, okay. Lower the chair or raise the camera. Why, Tim? You want to see less of this part of me? You get to see all kinds of trucks behind me this way. Here, I'll sit down lower. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, I still want the rally car. Which rally car? I'm so confused. I gotta see this ro our cross rollback. Is this something I need in my life? Uh, is that camber on the slash normal? I was pushing down on it pretty hard, but yes, that is normal. I have not adjusted that in any way. Mooseja, thank you. Wow, thank you, sir. Uh, Mooseja, I'd like to send you a body, if uh, if I could. Um, I don't I don't remember which one it is, but I'm gonna send you one, and uh, I'd like you to do some paint on it for me. Uh, thank thankful for SBG and your friendship. Ah, oh, that's nice. Enjoy some holiday cheer. I definitely will. Um. If you weren't so secretive, we could share input on that project, Matt. You know, I, yeah, I know, but um, it's uh, it'll be a fun little video, I think. Yeah. Uh, Gigawatt RC, thank you very much. Matt, I got my P1S and I am absolutely loving it. Hooray! That's fantastic news. I am so chuffed about that. Uh, it's an excellent printer. They are so, so good. What was I printing the other day? Oh, uh, some Bushido parts from Night Customs for a build with a uh, custom uh, CNC custom arse. I can't remember. Um, Greg. <laughs> His name's Greg. Uh, but I'm doing a little uh, thing for him uh, and printing out some parts for him. And it just rips through stuff. Have you guys ever done... Have you guys ever done... Uh, let me switch cameras here. Have you ever done these tree supports? Aren't these so weird? <laughs> Look at these. This is how it supports stuff instead of like your regular everyday rectangular supports. And I gotta say, it saves a lot of filament because these are just they're they're hollow. There's nothing in there. So uh look at that. It's like so much less filament waste. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. That's uh, an option in the slicer. Uh, Brian Sherwood, thank you very much. I'm not rich like Moose Jaw. <laughs> There's been some uh, some heavyweight uh, super chats tonight, and it's very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, how about one seventh drift? I have two, and another on the way. The felony and the ZD Racing Hoonigan Mustang FTX Super Forza. That uh, that felony is my favorite. Uh, Wow, I'm stuck on... Uh, sorry, guys. I'm. Uh, <laughs> this is so much harder to do when there's only one of us. Um, <laughs> I have the felony. I very much like the felony a lot. It's uh, it's very good. Um, the half tracks truck is an awesome build. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. Uh, it was on the back of the hauler the other day. Let's see some snow on crawlers with tracks. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. The cliff your crawler fell down needs to be the devil's rim job. Oh, dear. <laughs> Pilot Ryan Media, thank you. I just put a Chevelle body on a slash making an oval car. Oh, that's fun. That sounds really fun. These slashes, they're so bulletproof. Like, you can bash these to hell and back. Um, you can take it down the devil's butt crack. Um, where's Josh? He's vacationing. He's doing Thanksgiving stuff. Wait, you don't watch Skill News Update? No, I do. I do watch it. But uh, no eyebrows. What are you talking about, Tim? You need to adjust your screen. <laughs> there, There's this much of me. <laughs> there's lots of me. 
You can get more me than you'll ever need. Uh, no, I do watch Scale News Update, just not always and not all the way through. <laughs> 449 down from 629. Wow. That's a good deal. Uh, now there's room for a 10 panel hat. <laughs> ah, slouching will hurt your back. It's true. It's true, Jeremy. You're not wrong. 449, eh? Oh, I don't need that truck at all. You'll get this message in about half an hour. Oh, Phoenix. Uh, Capra's $100 off on Amazon. Yeah, let's talk deals. What have you guys seen? Uh, all the Traxxas stuff, 150 bucks off at the store. <laughs> um, so that's good. Send Mooseja the Fijan. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I won't send you that. That'd be the worst. Uh, a headless body? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I must be out to lunch. Uh, is your Range Rover giving birth? Oh, hello. Oh, look. It's a girl. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is the Furitech Fury Wagon. And it looks like it's the same color as the Range Rover, but they are not the same at all. Camera's not doing a good job of differentiating between orange and red. I just put that there because it fit perfectly. Suggestions on shims to remove the side-to-side -side slop on a TTO2. I have not built a TTO2 in about TTO 20 years. So I can't help you there. I apologize. <laughs> Only hobby where you can, out there where you can send someone a body and not have a knock on your door shortly thereafter. It's true. Uh, thanks, Moose Jaw. Yeah, I'll be in touch. Um, just got a honcho on MacBid for $600. What is MacBid? Is that... Uh, yeah, Oranges SCX6 on sale for $829. Yeah, uh, that is a good deal for sure. Um, tree supports are great. Prusa has that now too. Yes, Prusa, you know what? The Bamboo Lab Slicer is very similar to the Prusa Lab Slicer. FYI. Really looking forward to the Volvo Drift Missile. Hoping you're documenting each and every step. Uh, I'm not documenting each and every step. <laughs> I'm documenting some of the steps. <laughs> uh, would look so cool on the back of the Red Cat you just did. Will it fit? Oh, easily. Yeah, uh, go onto the shorts on YouTube here and you'll see how many things fit quite easily on the back of that. Uh, beep, bop, boop. Almost always use tree supports, man. Well, good for you, Dave. <laughs> uh, the tree supports are excellent. Uh, I, I know that they've been around forever. I just tried them for the first time the other day. Um... I understand you get enough Josh already. It's true. Only functioning rollback out there. You have my attention. I uh, just got here today. Miss mail call. Jaybird, not really. Uh, I, there isn't much to report on the old mail call this week. Uh, I did get a slash 2S two-wheel drive, which I'm going to do something funky with and either annoy or entertain. And then uh, just today, actually... Uh, I think these are, I think I can share this. Hang on. Let me check. Let me just make sure I can share this. Yes, I can share this. <laughs> Took me a little while, but the, <laughs> the Rustler 4x4 Ultimate showed up today too. So this is a 3S Rustler. Uh, it has all the anodized aluminum parts all over. Uh, cool body color. It's got different tires. These are the uh, Gravix tires, which I think are the same ones, only smaller, that are on the XRT. So, um, nice little uh, nice little ripper here. I'm really excited to get this one out. Uh, it even has it has all the sway bars and everything too. It's uh, it's legit. It's got all the upgrades. So. That'll be a fun one to rip around with as well. Not scale, exactly, but uh, definitely going to be a fun one. 
Um, so that's mail call. <laughs> I, honestly, I didn't really get anything because, you know, I've been focusing on other people at this time of year. Um, although I did buy myself a Mac Studio. <laughs> I needed a new computer at home. And the PC was letting me down. Oh, Trucks of Fortune. Let's talk about Trucks of Fortune. I didn't get in on this one, uh, but I did create a Truck of Fortune. And uh, I think it uh, I think it's a pretty good one. I think whoever gets them will like them. As long as Jor Jorsh as long as Jorsh did them. No <laughs> scat man tonight. Beep up up beat up 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 Give us a leak since Josh isn't here to see block. Uh, I don't have any leaks for you, I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, <laughs> yep, you can. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to be totally 100% sure. I don't know sometimes. I, there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. <clears throat> Paint fumes and glue in small places. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Blue Dooley. Um, is the Red Cat ramp truck axle significantly wider than a standard crawler axle? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, it's it's not in here because it's gigantic, uh, and I'm not willing to go get it. But if I think about it, I'll check. All right, I think I'm caught up. Yes. Out of the box rollback, very scale truck, and the Red Cat Lowriders fit with tons of room for scale ideas. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Matt, you have taken out your resin cast Range Rover lately. Uh, have you taken out the Range Rover lately? If so, how does it drive with the new chassis? Uh, did I put a new chassis on that? I don't remember. Let's get it off there and look at it. it hasn't made an appearance on what's on the bench in a while, so... Clearly, I haven't given it much thought. What's under here? Uh, oh. Is this an SCX-10 2 now? Uh, no? It's the exact same chassis. I haven't changed the chassis. <laughs> Why is this... How is this different? Meat. It's different because of meat. Uh, what did I do to this? Oh, I put new cantilevers on it. I remember doing that. It's still an SCX-10-2? No, just SCX-10, I think. Or 2. Uh, it's got a new motor. That's a brushless outrunner from Furitech. <clears throat> didn't you paint it? No. <laughs> I didn't. I kept it the same. It's got... What axles are these? Oh, yeah. Uh, RC four-wheel drive. Uh, SCX-10-2. But they're the, the proper Toyota slash Range Rover style. And they're the SCX-10 style. Uh, new cantilever in the rear from Extra Speed. Uh, still all the original running gear. SEMA ready drive shafts. As you see, it's not got any. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's still some things to be done here on this truck. But it sounds like it's nearly ready. Same, only uglier tires. Oh, Phoenix, how can you not like these tires? They're the best. Bluetooth front drive shaft. <laughs> yes. I don't think you're wrong, Ryan. I did change stuff, but not to the extent of, like, full different chassis or anything. Got those axles right before Vanquish released their F10s. Indeed I did. <laughs> but you know what? Um, that's fine. We'll get this truck out and finished eventually. I'm gonna made a giant mess over here. Oh, there's meat on the table. Unseema. <laughs> <laughs> and see my drive shafts. Uh, 
Is that a joke? Like, has did something happen at Sino where no trucks had drive shafts or something? But Homer, that's a woman's truck? What? One guy on YouTube bought five Vanquish trucks of fortune. Wow! That's a lot. How's the curved square body? Oh, you see UCV? Stand by, I'll show you. Uh, it's uh, still quite long and unchanged. Um, it needs more work to be done, but it's getting there. You're welcome, Phoenix. Enjoy the jerky. On his last box, he got a Pro and Wheels of Fortune. That's a pretty good deal. Oh, last time you saw you hadn't finished the back. Oh, good. Okay. So I did make some progress then. That's good. I printed all those letters out. And then stuck them on. How'd you shrink Richard's truck? His truck has the same pattern as mine. Um, but his is a little sharper in the details. Mine is a little more painted on. Like spray painted on. <laughs> Blends right in. You can hardly see it. It's loaded up with all of these accessories from True North RC. I gotta find a place for those ladies. Mm. Toe Daddy, thank you very much, sir. SBG, did you pre-order a BRX0288? I didn't. I feel like I should. But I was also thinking about the fact that I've got so many other projects already going on. That I literally, if I, if I bought another truck right now, I personally would feel very bad about myself because I'd be like, I'm not going to finish. I'm just not going to be able to get all these done. So I need to get on that. Why a camera at an empty desk? I know it's almost like we were joking about green screen and somebody at, like I was out for a trailer and this is a GCM, uh, C max chassis, by the way, for somebody who was asking, um, I was out at, uh, just a trail run. There's the front of it. Dang. Neat. Um, I was on a trail run on the weekend and the joke was whenever I, we film video, we should wear like a green screen glove so we can just like move the trucks up obstacles and just green screen the handout later. That would be so funny. <coughs> Does Canadian Thanksgiving have a traditional meal? Yeah, turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, all the traditional stuff. Same things. Uh, bought a Proline discontinued 66 Bronco body. Um, is that like this one? Is it that one? Is that the same one? This one's pinched and, and, uh, dovetailed. Needs a power cable hanging out of the grill. That's what those plugs are for. It's got, it's got the plugs. Uh, two Falcon editions. What an interesting thing. That, that's a lot. 88 is a must-have, and I don't... Oh, man. Jeremy. Darn it. Okay. I'll make that happen. Maybe in the new year. Uh, when do those come out? Let me know. I hate it when you say things like that. Lexus Man, thanks for uh, the sub. 
Uh, great channel and greetings from the UK. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you for watching. It's very late there. Go to bed, sir. Or get up and go to work. <laughs> exactly just like that one, Matt. Um, that was a cool body. I agree. It was a cool body. I tried it out on the uh, VRD Carbon, but I just didn't... I thought it sat a little high. I may still do it. I don't know. I'm really trying to uh, reduce my Lexan consumption for next year. For the year of no Lexan. <laughs> Uh, some guy got four Falcon. I think they were just punishing him. That's the problem with ordering more than one. Just be happy with one. Most people would be happy with one. 88 starts shipping around 30th of November. Okay, you know what, Jeremy? Put in a good word for me. See if there's any left. <laughs> ah, what's wrong with me? Um, these old flapping lips. <laughs> Matt, what mic and cam are you using for podcasting? Uh, for this particular show and all the shows that are filmed in my studio, uh, this camera here is the Sony a6500 and I've got a Rode uh, video mic attached to it. That's It's like a shotgun mic, but it's so close to my face that um, it works really well as, as uh, this kind of podcasty style mic. Uh, for any time I'm out in the field, when I'm shooting those videos, I've got a Ronin S uh, Mini. Uh, gimbal and my Sony a7C with a 28 to 75 millimeter uh, 2.8 uh, lens. Uh, and then I also am, I got a, that's actually one thing that I don't have in here that I did get from Mail Call. I got an iPhone uh, 15 Pro cage from Small Rig and it has a quarter inch mount so I can throw that on the gimbal because the footage coming out of the iPhone now is comparable to the a7c and it's about this big it's incredible um so i'm gonna start using that i think as well but there you go that's what i use <clears throat> uh, you shouldn't eat lexan i know that's why my throat hurts so much whiskey richard uh thank you very much for your first uh, super chat and welcome to the show I just received my X1 Carbon Combo and a bit intimidated by it, but truly inspired by the work you do and Josh put out and want to better my RC game. Well, Risky, uh, well, Whiskey, or or is it Risky Witchard? <laughs> uh, uh, to, uh, to be completely honest, uh, the files uh, are the biggest barrier to doing good stuff. And if you find good quality files or you are a good designer on your own, uh, you will end up with excellent prints. Um, start with any of the night custom stuff you cannot go wrong all that stuff prints beautifully uh he even has them preset as g-codes so you can just literally import them into the machine and they should print exactly the way um uh he intends for the best quality there you go thank you for watching Guys who hoard VP stuff kills me. Uh, well, I mean, you know, there's going to be people that do that in all areas of every hobby. Look at Hot Wheels, for example. A hobby I cared nothing about months ago. <laughs> now it's a huge problem for me. Uh, but there are people out there who buy and sell and trade. I'm just in it to collect the things that I like to collect. Um... So yeah, I, I, I agree with you though, the people that are buying up all these things with the intent of reselling kind of bums me out a little bit, it takes a little bit of the fun out of our RC hobby. Uh, certainly to the point that, you know, when other people are trying to get things and they can't, that kind of stinks. Bob Dole, uh, I got the pro in Trucks of Freedom. That's a good, good one for sure. Congrats, oh, with purple wheels, no less, excellent. Uh, it's not like you're making a back brace from Lexan. <laughs> I don't, you know what? I'm going to say I don't need one anymore. Uh, back brace, that is. Or back. Maybe I don't need a back. Uh, could be one third of a ripper for the cost of that cam, but damn, the vid always looks killer. Uh, well, I know, but you know, these are an investment over the long term. Like I've been using the A6500 now, this camera here for... Man, I want to say decade, almost, probably. I've had it a long time, and it's a great camera. It hasn't let me down. 
the lens is is where you can really spend a lot of money. Uh, got a blue four dice in Trucks of Fortune with blue wheels and purple rings, along with other trinkets. I'm quite pleased. Excellent. That's good. I'm the thing about like any of these things, and again, it it is a Vanquish mystery box, uh, but it it's a Vanquish mystery box. Full stop. Like there's not much things that Vanquish makes that you're going to be unhappy with, and I think they've gotten a lot better at their color combos too. So. I would uh, I would highly recommend it if you've got the cash you feel like spending it. Uh, somebody's asking about the ascent red cat ascent worth the three hundred dollars. A main has a good discount code right now. They do. I think there's a ten percent discount code floating around. Uh, I used it. Um, anywho, I didn't use it on this, but I've had this for a little while now. I actually just pre-ordered the DSM off-road uh, chassis conversion kit to make this even better. So uh, if that doesn't tell you how much invested I, I am in this platform, then you probably weren't listening. But I, I quite liked it, you know, and in the in the little Comparo that I did, it fared quite well. It did pretty well. It hung uh, with the other trucks despite... Uh, having a few setbacks. These shocks are not very good. I am going to do some tuning on those, maybe even swapping them out altogether. Um, with bigger wheels and tires, it certainly helps a lot. Uh, the, the Fusion SE that I have in there was a big help. I think a servo upgrade could do some good. And then you've got a really decent and class one legal setup. You've got to make a few changes in terms of coverage, tire coverage on this one is not legal in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I like this truck for the for the money that you have to spend on it. It's good starting value. Keep in mind because it is an RTR. Uh, I don't use the radio. I don't use the electronics. Um, there's a few things there that you know. I, I would love to see a kit on that. That would be really cool. A kit on that would do very well. I think. <clears throat> Matt's videos are some of the best on YouTube for this genre. <laughs> much appreciated. I don't mean to self-deprecate. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Vintage RC. Uh, the Limited Dancing Rider from Tamiko. Yes, uh, they sold out of the 333 Special Edition, and then Tamiko started selling all the parts that made it limited, including the decal sheet. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Uh, rares, uh, rare SVT sign. Need a diff cover and bearing retainers for a D44 and been on email with Vanquish for three days and no Josh here to harass. Uh, sorry about that. I'm, I'm sure they're probably pretty busy filling orders and trying to get stuff out before the holiday. Uh, but somebody will get back to you. I think you can pretty much count on it. If I was the marketing manager there, boy howdy, I'd be all over it. <laughs> There's the A-Main code, 10% off BF1023. I used that code yesterday. I made a purchase as well. Uh, what did I get? About Yokomo uh, ESC uh, and motor combo for my drift car. Pretty cool. <laughs> what else did I get? Oh, I got brass knuckles for uh, the, uh, the Red Cat. Because <laughs> I'm trying to make that truck better. Even better than it already is. Uh, somebody was asking what's in the SBG Trucks of Fortune. I can't tell you, because that would spoil it. Uh, but definitely a laser lasered card with the Scale Builders Guild thing. Uh, so that'll be cool when that comes out. <laughs> Jay Walker, my Hot Wheels addiction has never been as sophisticated as Matt's and Josh's. But it's been more of a, ooh, Hot Wheels, anything I like here? If their Hot Wheels collection is like cocaine, mine's like glue. <laughs> yeah, I only, I'm trying to stick to just Porsches and Volvos and the odd Toyota and supercar. And that's it. Um, Patina Guy, hello. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you, sir. 
Uh, why are kits dying? Even Vanquish only has one now. Good question. Um, I don't think that they're dying specifically. I think what's happening, though, is retailers and manufacturers are seeing the value in getting people into the hobby and getting them out the door with everything they need right away. I think that's the key to getting people in the hobby. If you show up into a hobby shop and all they had was kits, and I remember my first experience doing that, I was like, oh, sick, I love this kit. I love building. I will be building things. Yay. And then I got home, and then I was like, oh, shoot, I didn't look at the box carefully enough. I need all of these things, too? Well, that's going to have to wait, because I don't have any more money. I spent it all on the kit. So, I can see why they're pushing more RTRs. And I think it's also, uh, it's probably more cost-effective, too. I don't know why. Uh, so, I think that's probably a big part of it. But I think what's going to happen is you're still going to see kits. They're just going to become a little more bespoke. And I mean a little more um, of a sort of a, a niche part of the, the hobby. Um, and it's only going to appeal to a certain person anyway. So... I don't know. Outlaw Farmers RC, we sell may, way more... Uh, I'm going to guess that meant RTRs than kits. Um, most people are probably going to say the same thing. It's the lazy, dumb consumer that ruins it. No, <laughs> Chibs, I don't think it's so much that. I think it's just you have to appeal to the largest demographic, and the easiest way to do that is to make a ready-to-run truck. Uh... Drift car, and you give Josh shit for his 24 scale adventure. Drift cars are fun. There's a zen that I got from drifting that I've never gotten from any other RC stuff. Um, where is the drift car? Uh, it's in the other room on display. Uh, the uh, the Pandora-bodied uh, RWB. Because I don't think I'm going to drive it anymore. It's just too pretty. I don't want to wreck it. <laughs> please uh yeah like the whole time i was at the drift uh, track strictly sideways uh out in oakville there uh, every time i i got close to another car i got nervous and i would just like i'm like i'm good i'm good i, I don't need to drive right now <laughs> so uh that's what the drift missile is gonna be for because it's already gonna look like shit so i won't mind if it gets bumped I'm actually going to try to make it so, like, parts come off intentionally. That's the idea, anyway. Yes, yeah, smash that like button if you haven't. Don't shant to hesitate. <laughs> Kits should come with a discount. Uh, that's an interesting concept, for sure. Uh, Matt's putting his old record player to use turntable for the drift car. Yeah, it's just on display. Just spins slowly. And I just stare at it <laughs> while I'm working. RTRs are so much more work. Having to take the thing apart before you can build it sucks. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Um, yeah, I. there's another element that, like, I mean, for me, the hobby it was always about building, right? Like, everything was a kit back when I was a kid. So... You know, uh, in these days of instant satisfaction, RTR is king. Kits are for patients like models and train stuff and old people. <laughs> That's absolutely true. Um, Brian Harrison, thank you very much. What body for your whoop scissors? Uh, oh, <laughs> I was like, what's the whoop scissors? Um, I don't know yet. Would a Bronco have those? Maybe we could use that Bronco body there. Hey, all right, now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas, because we're going to start with the uh, Zool. Uh, I think that's probably a good place to start for this uh, Whoop Scissors build. Oh, 10 o'clock. Wow. It's been going for a whole hour? It's crazy. 
All right, so we're going to start with this truck chassis. We'll get rid of this body. Let's get rid of this body right now. Uh, it's a nice body, and if you were to keep it this way, you know, you'd be you'd be happy because look at that clearance, clearance. Uh, kits hurt the soul more when you crash. Well, that's that is true. Oh, I still have a battery in there. Bad. Bobby RC man. I'm terrible. Oh, God. Scold me. That's bad. No, Peter, only Zool. <laughs> no, Dana, only Zool. That's fine. All right. Let's see how this looks. Oh, hello. Of course, that transmission sits quite high. And this is made for an 11.4 inch wheelbase, so uh, not with these wheels and tires, obviously. Would a Bronco have those that scissor style suspension? I think we could probably make this work to do some trimming or moving of the transmission, but uh, that could work. That could be interesting. These tires are obviously way too small, but that could work. Are you the gatekeeper? I'm the key master. And that, that way we could have a me driving, which would be cool. <laughs> Not a Gen 1. Hmm. Yes, Bronco had that. Not that year. Ugh. I don't know anything about Broncos because I generally don't care about them. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Um... It would be a solid axle. I want like an 80s Bronco. All right, well, we'll figure something out. We'll make something fun. They had twin traction beam, which is basically the same. I love how knowledgeable you guys are. Can I thank you? I thank you, not just for watching, but for all of your knowledge. You're very, you're sm very smart bunch. Mid 70s, eh? Leaving your battery in the car. I know. What a bad man. I can't believe that I did that. I'm not usually that guy. Any hoosies. Um, tires give it a nice scale look, though. Uh, well, we'll have to figure something out. We all wear many nerd hats. That's true. That old battery's going to foul the car. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> uh parnelli jones yeah that would be cool parnelli jones bronco for the baja 1000 i could go a little more modern though and do something kind of like the no fun haver it is a no fun haver as well that's what i think i'm gonna call it so why not uh rp rc patina guy thank you very much poll how many people have left a battery in their rc and forgot me uh let's do a poll why not Engage with your audience. Start a poll. Have has has you have left battery in Turk? Started poll. Older Ford Rangers had I beam front suspension. Then the sisters were done then the scissors were done for off-road find a proline ranger body it be fitting i do like a ford ranger i like a ford ranger very much still no fun ever <laughs> seen a 2005 tacoma with beams dude sends it these are all good ideas speaking of ford rangers a lot of people like this this body that I did. I was shocked because, to be fair, I wasn't sure I liked it. I was sort of like, "Is this the is this the vibe?" But I guess it is. Airbrushed and everything. That was fun. Uh, I I do all the time. Should I not? You should definitely not. Especially if you forgot to unplug it. Uh, I unplugged it, thankfully. But if you had forgotten to unplug it, that is bad. 
Never had fun ever. <laughs> I, I always cook my turkeys with a battery in it. Oh, man. I seen on news today Jeep Wrangler e-models catching on fire. That doesn't concern me anymore. <laughs> At all, in the slightest. Have you seen the fun haver El Bandito? That needs to be in our ski RC scale. Uh, Matt, did you use taller front mount on your SCX Pro? Um, uh, no, I didn't. I used regular mount. Regular in the box mount. I didn't have to change anything. Why do you ask? There ain't no monorail and there never was. <laughs> I love all these monorail, monorail. Uh, nice color choice. Thanks. That coyote body is a good vibe. It sure is. I, I like it. I was working on making some of my own sliders for uh, this, this chassis, the VRD Carbon. Um, but I haven't gotten around to it, so I stuck the old ones back on it. Uh, the sliders fit the coyote body good? No. Uh, I had to, in fact, I didn't trim it off. But I had to score and snap and take out about a quarter inch to make it fit the sliders better. Um, what is this poll? Did Matt have a stroke while typing? Intentionally. Papaya vibes? Yeah, that's what I was going for. Uh, I just sent you an XJ with beams on Instagram. Thank you, Evan. Ooh, XJ. I think I have one still. What about, oh, what about a scout body? Uh, would that, like, uh, would that have something like that? Tell me. New stance body looks sweet. Yes, it does. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, very, very cool. I'm not sure I dig the no headlight look. The grill is weird. I just ordered that body because of you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. How do you vintage tint your headlight lenses to make them look yellowed? Um, I don't have it handy, but Tamiya makes a yellow clear. It's like an XF, little glass uh, jar. Um, Scout 2, just to troll Josh. So yeah, that's uh, that would work to yellow the headlights. Also, uh, you can also use... what I, There's two. There's a couple of different ways of doing it. The lenses themselves wouldn't be yellow. They would be clear. The bulbs are warmer, so they look yellow. So... What you can do, and I did it on the um, hauler, is I dipped the actual white LEDs in the clear yellow paint. Just dip and out. And then uh, you can make it look like that. And Toad Daddy just said, My Trick RC offers an LED bulb called Halogen. And that's closer to the incandescent style bulbs that would have been in trucks and cars and everything in the 80s and 70s and beforehand. Um, so there you go. F-150 body, that would be good. You want 80s Ford bodies, but I don't want an 80s Ford body. What about, uh, could I use, what if I use the Vanquish, uh, uh, Origin body? Jeep Speed XJ? I did a Jeep Speed already. Darn it. Do an Astro Van with scissors. <laughs> uh... Will Vanquish offer optional sliders for VRB, VRD Carbon? No, I bet you they're going to leave it to the homebrew uh, industry. Um, uh, sorry, I want to get back. I want to finish this LED comment. So you can either dip them in the yellow uh, and then let it dry and it'll appear to be yellowish, which is exactly the look you're going for. Or uh, I also sometimes use that, um, that tint uh, film that's yellow. Put the Proline I-beams on the SCX chassis and an F-150. How did I mount what? How did you mount it? Uh, this body? Uh, I just, I drilled the holes for it. <laughs> I, I lined it up before I painted it, marked where the holes would be for the, the body mounts, and then I just 
used a body reamer like this uh, to drill the holes. That's it. Nissan 80. Oh, yeah, the hard body Nissan. That would be neat, too. I'm almost certain all scouts were 4x4. Yeah, but we live in a wonderful world where we can do whatever we want. <laughs> all right. Uh, did somebody want to see the SCX 10 Pro? Yes. <laughs> Here it is. Look at how low that body is. This is the body that they put out with it, but it's not Sorka legal for class two, so you can't use it. It's too short. Class three, you could use it any, all day and every, every day, twice on Sunday. Um, but yeah, that is a low truck. It's an Aerostar, not an Astro Van. That's right. Thanks, Crow Below. Much appreciated. I beams with leaf springs. Yes, all the things. Um, all right, like button, create happy trucks, tap, tap, tappy, tap, 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 -aroo. use your Volvo C2 from scale nets. I sold that to Wyatt actually from Axial who is running it on an SCX pro right now. I don't think he's comping with it. I was like, you don't want to comp with that body. It's not good for comps. But I'm going to use the carbon one, that's for sure. As soon as uh, Tom makes that happen. Uh, leaf sprung twin I-beam. I love it. Let's do it. <laughs> Pinto wagon. Could be. I, uh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll figure something out. I don't know what yet. Uh, but it'll be fun, whatever it is. And I look forward to doing it. I do have to finish that lowrider land cruiser. Uh, I also have to finish the Enduro SE FJ cruiser. There are a lot of projects that I'm slacking on because there's always a new project that happens. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's that's that may be. I was going to say that may be a good place to stop for tonight. But let's keep going. <laughs> Why not, right? What else have I got to do? Nothing. <laughs> Kyosho Rav 4. <laughs> What's your favorite scale class 1 tire? Ooh, class 1. Scale. Uh, I'm looking around the room. Assuming that I have one here. Uh, Wrangler MTR. You can get the um, 4.19 size of that one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit stuffed up. I feel like I'm getting sick. Thoughts on Las Vegas one F1 race? Um, we can wait a little while before we talk about that. Will we have a What's on the Bench tomorrow? Yes, you will. Is it a bad day for it or a good day for it? I'm sure it's probably a good day for it. KM3? Uh, I don't like the KM3. I have it right here. On on Dippy. Uh, that's the KM3, right? Oh no, these are the Crawler TAs. Where's the KM3? I know I have those. I had them, anyway. It looks like the top was chopped. No, oh, I, we're uh, now you guys are behind me. Uh, KM3s. I know I have those somewhere. Hang on. Where are you, little tires? There they are. Look. Is this it? Or is this the RC four wheel drive one? I think that's the RC four wheel drive one because it's a weird compound. 
used to be on your gladiator, but you took them off. No, because those would have been class two. Right over there. <laughs> Comedy. Comedy. It's so weird. I know I had a set of them. I just don't know where they went. Oh, well. It matters not. HD failed us with no Friday Night Lives. You need to pick up the torch. Oof, I can't do another live show in, in a week. Uh, what axles are under Dippy? Uh, this is... Everything after the body is a UTB-18, but it's on that uh, uh, Spare Time Hobbies bugger chassis. So um, you get rails, so it is class one legal. Uh, it's using all the original links, uh, UTB-18 portal axles. I've got weight uh, from Axial on those. Uh, stock drive shafts, stock transmission location, um, stock shocks. It's just... Uh, different body and a different chassis and it's meant for this body as you can see it's a perfect perfect match there i absolutely love this truck it is so fun i'm sure you've seen the video on it by now uh hey top tip these were painted with that uh, tamia xf clear yellow where's the harley guy he's uh you know he's on hiatus no he's on his uh vacation with uh his wife and they're away seeing family um no over there i know i know sorry um did you see the new unimog from fms yes alex i did uh they were supposed to send me one but it has not yet arrived cop motor cop shocks it's good on it's got a catalytic converter so it's good on gas <laughs> it's 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 what is what does it say it's got it's three hours to chicago it's dark outside and we're wearing sunglasses uh you need some super shafty cs41 straight axles under that uh, yeah, I guess so, but then I'd lose a lot of clearance. The thing about Dippy and the thing about this Spare Time Hobbies chassis is that it was built around using a portal axle. If I didn't have the portals under there, I wouldn't have nearly the clearance that I have now. Um, I mean, I could, I'm sure that Super Shafty makes a portal axle f uh, version as well for this, don't they? Plan on putting an engine on the back of Dippy? You mean like the one that's there? <laughs> There's already one on there, and uh, it came with the kit, which is pretty great. Uh, it's such a cute little truck. I love it. 106 miles to Chicago, half a pack of cigarettes, full tank gas, dark. That's it. Thank you very much. Magic school truck. Hello, MST. How are you, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, um, you forgot the half pack of smokes. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Perry G, thank you very much. Have you seen Swell Entertainment's video of her experience at the F1 Velocity International at Sonoma Raceway? She got to sit in one of the cars. No, I don't think I even heard of Swell Entertainment. Now I need to look it up. Is it on the YouTube? It is on the YouTube. Ah, oh, she's got a lot of subs. I snuck into a McLaren. <laughs> All right, I'll check this. Uh, how I ended up in a... I'll check out that entertainment channel on the internet tube. Good, need a good Caesar to knock that cold out. Yes, Jason. Or uh, some hot tea. What's all done to Dippy? <laughs> uh, what else? What do you mean? What's what all is done? Uh, this is not, and I'll see if I can get the body off. No, oh, no, it's a pain in the butt. Everything's connected. Uh, anyway, um, Tamiya Beetle Body for the Sand Scorcher. Knight Customs 
uh, Hoonigan interior with functioning driver. He's got some uh, servos in there. Uh, then the rest is a UTB-18 with the spare time hobbies chassis. That's it. Uh, I also put a Holmes motor in there for more comp. Uh, you can also convert this to chassis mounted servo, which I would do if I were going to comp with it, which I don't think I would. I might. It would be interesting to see how it did. Um, and I also put some lights from the UTB-18 back in it. So it's got rock lights and headlights. Other than that, nothing. Ah, orange whips. Orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? Three orange whips. I made an orange whip once. It's awful. So gross. Uh, and then I, you know, I detailed it out, weathered the body, put a TPU net on the back, which I thought was cool. Will Element come out with some option parts for IFS2? I don't know. I am not, uh, I am not privy to what people do. And if I was, I wouldn't be allowed to tell you anyway. <laughs> um... Tammy, I should make a mini VW bug like a mini lunchbox. That would be fun. Is that grease on the portal weights? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Ha! Huh. That's funny. Good eye. Wow. Uh, what's in your Caesar, Matt? Most Americans don't know about them. Uh, well, Clamato. Uh, vodka. Um, celery salt. Celery, ice, Tabasco, Worcestershire. They usually put a pickle in there too, or a green bean, like a pickled green bean. Uh, that's uh, that's about it. Did the Knight Custom Matt's head fit in the Drifter interior? I didn't even consider that, but it probably does. I bet you I'm a perfect fit. Uh, I'm a little big. You know what though? I think I would I think that would work. I think that would work just fine. You mean a Michelada? Uh negative. Negative. A Michelada has beer in it. And Clamato, and that's about it. Caesar. Something entirely different, but nice try. I know how it's pronounced. I know it's pronounced Worcester, but I like to say it the way I like it. Whatever you just described sounds amazing. And it is. You showcased the super scale suspension system a while back. I did, and it looked awesome. Kind of thought you'd do more builds with it, too much of a pain in the butt, or not as good as it seemed, or what? No, Jay, it's absolutely great. Um, but once it's installed in a truck, I didn't feel like I needed to install it in other trucks. Um, in fact, uh, as much as I loved that truck, I just sold it to Teleguided. Um, he's got a number of trucks of mine in his collection, and now he's got another one. So, uh, yeah, I was just sort of like, I haven't driven it in a long time. I love it. It's really cool. This whole suspension system is great. But uh, I'm kind of like, I have to admit to myself, I think, that I'm sort of a one and done. I get it done. I do a project with it. And then... I don't see the need to do another project with it. Sort of like, you know, I, it's cool. It's very cool. And I really like it a lot. But at the same time, if I've done it once, I don't feel the need to do it again. That's why you don't see a lot of repeat builds. The only repeat, I think, is the Range Rover. And uh, it's because I felt like I sold that before I was done with it. So, there you go. Uh, big head Matt. <laughs> yeah, I could. I could be mugging out the window. That'd be kind of funny. Um, but you know, the great thing about having the digital file of me is that you can print me any size you want. <laughs> Do I have electronics picked out for the RDX? Yes. I'm going to be using a 299 LP from Reefs. I'm going to try his gyro. Uh, and then I've got the Yokomo, uh, I don't know, brushless system, whatever they've got. What is theirs called? My order here. 
Beep bop. Boop. Oh, I'm a computer. Uh, log in. This is all very interesting for you, I'm sure. My orders. Pending. Uh, I got the Yokomo BL RS4 Drift Spec Censored Brushless ESC and the 0S Drift Spec Motor Combo. 13 and a half turn. It's right where I like it. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> Please let the audience know what Clamato is. <laughs> Clamato is um, a uh, it's a tomato-based beverage that also happens to have clam juice in it. And I like it. <laughs> when it's in a Caesar. On its own, no way. <clears throat> How did you like making the carbon fiber comp Mountain Dew truck? Oh, man. I love that truck so much. Let's put it on. Let's put it on display. Because who doesn't love carbon fiber Porsches? Oh. This is so... This was one of my, my favorite projects of all time, I think. Mostly because all I had to do was sit back and build it. Josh had to design the dang thing. I didn't have to do any of that. Um, but yeah, full carbon fiber body. We 3D printed all the molds. We, we did our own carbon fiber work. Josh went for the uh, goofball um, chop toe look. I went for the fabric uh, weave look. Wait, clam juice? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then we actually built around a prototype of the VRD Carbon, believe it or not. Um, so this <laughs> underneath is basically, in a lot of ways, a VRD Carbon. This is the original prototype VRD Carbon skid. Uh, we 3D printed these in PETG. Um, but you can see that's the little cutout right there to put the motor guard on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we carbon fiber rails, carbon fiber body, uh, lots of carbon fiber everywhere. Um, the Vanquish plastic portal axles. I should have done the crab juice livery, but this... This Mountain Dew livery came from that whole gag that Josh and I were complaining. Like, he was like, oh, yeah, Mountain Dew's a cola. And I was like, no, it isn't. It's most 100% definitely not a cola. At all. Mountain Dew is, a, is not a cola. So, on the back, not cola. Stop showing the skin. <laughs> yeah. Josh, in the build series, Josh was like, yeah, you can show off the truck. Don't show off the skid, whatever you do. And I completely forgot about that and showed it off, but didn't say anything about it. And uh, yeah, we got I got away with it, but he was not happy. <laughs> but nobody saw it. They didn't know. Cola is a flavor. Exactly. Um, how do you juice a clam? Well... You just squeeze it real hard. Uh, I would think you'd at least want a fast servo for drifting. The 299 LP is a fast servo. I've been told it's very fast. I don't know. We're going to try it. If it doesn't work, I'll take it out and put something else in. Matt leaks. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, so there's the carbon fiber Porsche. Still one of my favorite builds of all time. Uh, not one that's for sale, that's for sure. Uh, just put too much work into this, too much time, too much effort, and I'm just too darn happy with it. Yeah, it's uh, it's a good it's a good driver to it. For the how many minutes did I actually drive it? Twenty four minutes. <laughs> it's been driven twenty four minutes. But I am going to drive it some more. I, I planned on getting it out to a couple of comp events 
or just trail runs, but I was like, eh, it's got such heavy duty overdrive. I don't want to do that. Did you ever run the pink drifter? Uh, that was not a drift car. That was an M08 pro and no, <laughs> I haven't. I still have it. It has never been driven. It's sitting in a box somewhere. I am, I'm a bad RC man. Where do we buy your head? <laughs> uh, Thomas, you can buy me uh, on Knight Customs, uh, my mini factory site. And he's uh, part of the Fordyce um, interior. No offense, I would never buy one of your builds. I can barely afford an RTR. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't want you to buy one anyway. If that's if that's where your affordability level is, you stick with it right there. <laughs> what tires on the Porsche? Those are the Falcon Wild Peaks from Vanquish. That's the 419 size. And I should say that's my favorite 419 tire now. Because <laughs> it is, it's actually, it's very good tire. Um, I also have that tire in the 465 size. Uh, which I will show you now. Um, I was just kind of, I was auditioning wheels and I never got around to doing anything with these. These are the, that's the dark earth color, which I think looks quite good. Um, what's the wheelbase of the UTB 18 bug? Uh, whatever standard UTB 18 is, it didn't change. So 10 inch wheelbase, give or take. Yeah. Blood, sweat, tears, and beers. Uh, you throw a blanket over it and smack it with the hammer. What? <laughs> uh, which of your builds slash trucks has the most mileage on it, not counting the Ford Ice? Ooh. Good question. Not counting the Ford Ice. Probably at this point. Um, oh, probably the Ripper, actually. Uh, I think the Ripper's probably had the most time because it's done Axial Fest twice. And I drove it every day there. Um, 465. No, these are, actu these are actually 465. Mm, yeah, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, these are actually 465 these ones <laughs> but good one art i like that um yeah ripper would be the next one and then after that honestly i think ls post has seen the most usage i use that truck all the time it's sort of like it's my go-to when i go for a trail ride isn't that sand scorcher a 10th scale body um yeah tech technically i don't know the i don't know the actual um scale but it's not, I think it's close to 10th scale. Yeah. Yeah. But the, that doesn't matter. The UTB 18, that's an arbitrary number that they came up with. It's not 18th scale in any way, shape, or form. Like it doesn't, because it doesn't have a, a real world equivalent, right? Like the Capra is way bigger than 10th scale, right? It's uh, like scale with toys unless it's a real thing that's been shrunk doesn't really mean anything Kaladin crawlers hello kenny have you been watching this whole time <laughs> uh glad to see the red cat of sense getting some love now i might be able to beat you on the rocks with it are you gonna get one or did you get one already wasn't there a smaller version of dippy yeah uh yes well there's dippy uh sh there's dippy Shippy was the original one, which is the just like the regular everyday sand scorcher. And then there's uh, the little guy here. Um, and I can never remember who made these. Um, but it's the same people that make the vacuum formers that Josh uses. Yes. Capra four wheels tier for 294 shipped. Ooh, that's a good deal. That's the discount on tower right now. That's a pretty good deal. I needed a four-wheel steer Capra. What did I need that for? Oh, for the uh, the 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 chassis that Brazen makes. Change your Capra into a comp 
truck thing. I should get that. Guys, this episode alone has made me spend three trucks. <laughs> Old time RC. Thank you, Thomas. The little one should be sippy, zippy, gippy, <laughs> gippy. I think I like that one. That's good. I like that a lot. <laughs> Uh, I've been watching this whole time just silent and no, I haven't gotten an ascent. Got too attached to yours. Well, I got, I have that new chassis coming for it. I pre-ordered that DSM off-road carbon chassis. So I think, uh, I think I'll, after I make some significant upgrades, then maybe we'll chat. <laughs> Scratch and dent sale. Oh, that's a good deal, man. That's great. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you for today, too, Alex. I much appreciate all of you. Just sold my Traxxas collar with two custom cab bodies. Oh, nice. Patina guy, good for you. What are you buying with that money? <laughs> what are you going to get? More RC stuff. You know what I'm still waiting for? The Mercury chassis for the killer body Gladiator. Where is that thing? They've been promising that all year. I just want to do it so I can finish that Gladiator and drive it once. F1 chat. Okay. I think it's probably time. Oh, oh Jay, that's even better. <laughs> Underscore Ippy. <laughs> like it, it doesn't even have enough time for all the letters. That's really funny. I like that a lot. That's really good. Man, creativity. Man, I'd be interested in that brazen Capra build. I haven't done it yet. I need to buy the Capra so I can do it. And then if you want it after I've driven it, then we'll talk. <laughs> uh, it's been a very expensive night for me. Uh, I have decided to purchase three more things. No, I'm not going to get the rollback. There, two things. 88 Series Land Rover. Definitely need one of those. Uh, Capra must get uh, one of those. I wonder what my family will do when I tell them to shut the hell up. I'm trying to watch what's on the bench. <laughs> I should have... I haven't come up with a title for it yet, so maybe it'll be uh, Ignore Your Family. Keep that one right up here. I did not... Exp okay, yes. Uh, before we get into Vegas F1 talk, let's thank... All of these wonderfully... Oh, Tom Havel, thank you very much. Thanks for keeping the Friday Night Live streams going. This is Wednesday. You you need some sleep. Uh, working on building a VS410 chassis while I wait for the Proline swing axle kit to show up. Definitely doing an OG rear axle with open diff. If you find an open diff, let me know. I'm keen. Um, oh, unless you're doing it... Oh, you're going to do an SCX10 with the open diff. Perfect. Okay, great. Uh, that's a great idea. I have... Oh, what? why did I think of this? I have an SCX-10 Honcho kit, new in box. Maybe I'll do the scissors on that and we'll get a better body for it and keep it all old school. Chef's kiss. Thanks for the great idea, Tom. Uh, Perry G, thank you. On the bright side, all the super chats are yours. <laughs> <laughs> so true so true and he's not getting a goddamn cent <laughs> chopra thank you toby that's exactly what it is josh built one i'm gonna go back and watch that episode so i can just do that but skip all the parts where he's confused <laughs> chopra all right let's thank all of these people for thanksgiving uh the rc underdog thank you Jetwave78, uh, MKRC Builds, Reamdog Fly Factory, Thomas Bialzik, J.R. Lawson, Crawler Baller, MKRC Builds, Jeremiah Salberg, Half Hawaiian, Troy Givler, Gunner, My Meat Belongs in Your Mouth, Nissen, Times Two, uh, Luke Olson, El Camino Life Forever, Moose Jaw RC, Gigawatt RC, Brian Sherwood, Pilot Ryan Media, Toad Daddy, Risky Wichard, <laughs> Brian Harrison, 
RC Patina Guy, Perry G, Tom Havel, and Perry G. Thank you all very, very much. Okay, let's end this poll first. And 75% of you have left a battery in your truck. Uh, War Runner, no Hot Wheels this week. If you name the episode a work call, we can all... I think we're back. That was weird. Hey, look. <laughs> it's the What's on the Bench intro. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm not sure what happened, but look at that. We lost all the viewers anyway, so we're free to talk about Formula One. Uh, so, okay. We got all the thanks in, right? <laughs> wow, I like how that worked out. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, that was weird how that... It's just like OBS just decided it didn't want to stream anymore. Anyway, um, 10 place grid penalty for the unforced error. <laughs> Forgot to pay the internet bill. All right, um, let's talk Formula One. So uh, a lot of people were doubting this being good in any way, shape, or form. It was amazing. I absolutely, after, after that first little hiccup, which was terrible... Uh, science did not deserve that penalty. That's BS. Um, the fans did not deserve the penalty of not being able to actually watch any of FP2. That was also terrible. Um, those two things were, were bad. But the race itself was phenomenal. For the first race in Las Vegas, I think they absolutely nailed it. Um, lots of entertainment lots of good racing lots of good overtaking the track was fast uh yeah probably best second best race of the year i would absolutely agree don't know if they got a refund i hope they did uh because that would absolutely suck imagine and my friend put this into perspective for me imagine that fp1 or fp2 were the only things you could afford and you were a diehard fan and you just desperately wanted to see cars on track and you didn't get to see it, I would be so heartbroken. You're absolutely right. So hopefully they got their money back. Uh, yeah, the logistic nightmare for sure. Um, but uh, everything else, so great. People got a $200 voucher for merch. Uh, I don't love that. I don't love that. <laughs> um, a class action lawsuit. America is underway. Well, I hope they win. And Captain Insano shows no mercy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Glad I made it. Glad you made it too. Uh, yeah. I can't believe that. Is that true? I didn't know that the FIA let teams vote on the penalty. That's also BS. That sucks. I had a friend who went to the race. Uh, he had a blast. He very much enjoyed himself. Um, he was. Uh, he had great seats. I'm not sure exactly where on the track it was, but it looked pretty good. Um, I could see myself going to that one. Uh, but I'd love to see like a, a real like traditional track like Spa. I think that would be really cool too. Or he saw deposits down for 2024. That's good. Um, I would love it. I would love to go see it. Uh, I don't know that the experience would be the same as it is on TV. And I hate to say that, but the broadcasting is so good um, that... Yeah, I don't know that I would get the same experience just seeing it from one section of the track over and over again. Coda, I think, would be a great race, too. No support races for LV. No, um, I don't know that they had the timing to do that because um, they have to open that track during the day. Like, that's a, that's a, a those are roads people drive on. Um and it needs to start so closer to 6 p.m. local time. That's never going to happen um, until the viewership in America outpaces the viewership in the rest of the world. So I think that's something you'll be waiting a while for. 
Um, yeah, no way for the FIA to change rules mid-race is also the case in Science's penalty, which is kind of sucky. But it is what it is. I'm sure that they'll change that in the future. Uh, Shoey Drink Bar was pretty cool. Yeah, I saw that. That was good. Uh, I missed out on getting the McLaren sweatshirt that I wanted. Uh, the Las Vegas merch for uh, McLaren was pretty good. And uh, I missed out on the sweatshirt, which kind of sucks. I should have just bought it when I had the chance. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty great. I, I found it thoroughly enjoyable. And I did stay up for it. I didn't go to bed. I didn't nap. I just stayed up. Watched it live. Really awesome. All right. I think that's going to do it. Uh, thank you, everybody, again for watching and participating tonight. Uh, lots of really funny stuff came out of it. I much appreciate uh, all the creativity that you guys consistently bring to this show uh, and the laughs, too. Uh, Would have been great if Josh were here, but honestly, it was probably best he wasn't. <laughs> Uh, very cool. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, Hemistorm says, come to the Netherlands or Monaco instead. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, enjoy your Thanksgiving, everyone. And don't forget to watch. Uh, there's a work call tomorrow. So be sure to hang out and watch that. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great evening. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye. <laughs>